So hi everyone. Uh, my name is Moina Biswas, and uh, currently I'm like doing my bachelor's in electronics and communication engineering. Um, currently doing that. Apart from that, I'm like heavily interested in cloud native technologies, and uh, like I've been a part of DOK for quite a some time now, and uh, enjoying it thoroughly. So today I'll be talking about like um, open AVS. So that's my topic, and uh, let's just dive right right into it. So. To begin with, what is Open ABS? Open ABS is like what it basically does. It does is it turns any storage available to Kubernetes nodes into a local or distributed Kubernetes persistent volume. That is like the basic one-line definition of what is Open ABS. We'll go into much more things about it so that it is much more clarified, and we'll just look into it. What an awesome tool it is! So uh, it was originally developed by MyData, and later on it was donated to CNCF. As of right now, it is a CNCF sandbox project, and that's in there in CNCF landscape. You can just uh, go ahead and look into it. If you want to go into more depths of it, and uh, let's go to the next slide. So I'll be giving you a brief information about like uh, what is the need for Open EBS. Let's talk about like the what is the development environment in cloud native environments. The thing is, in cloud native environments, working groups are very very small, and uh, like it is loosely coupled. Uh, services are involved in such an operation. The thing is, um, it has like a high level of automation and it accelerates, it accelerates the feedback by testing and deployment. So there are like tons of tools, open source products, open source, um, cloud native environment tools are there like Docker, Kubernetes, Jenkins, and like and lots and lots of tools are there that like uh, drastically improves the speed of de uh, deployment and testing and all those things. It's that that's the benefit of using cloud native tools. So the thing is, uh, like, what happens is then, like, with Open APIs, developers use the Kubernetes, the Kubernetes commands and APIs to do persistent storage provisioning operation, improving the resilience of storage in a way that is typically entirely behind the scenes for developers. Like in Open EBS is the most broadly deployed open source container attached storage, also called CAS uh, storage software. The software is completely containerized and orchestrated by Kubernetes. Like right here, like we have like if you want to create like volumes, persistent volumes, the, it's like a pretty basic thing, a pretty simple thing to create with that. And you have the create command. And once if you want to delete like that, one of them you can use a delete command. So let's talk about the CAS thing. Open EBS, like I already talked about, the CAS architecture model enables each developer or DevOps team to have a storage controller dedicated to an application, giving the developer complete general control over the storage for their workload. Like in this uh, slide, as we can see, there is like complete general control for each developing team. Next, we are, I will talk about a little bit about the Open EBS and the cloud native CI/CD pipeline. Like. This is like the core thing about the open EBS that we will talk about. Um, see, there's a key part. The key part of such a stateful development, testing, and deployment of deployment pipelines is the ability to take part, take read-only copies of live data for development and testing. These read-only copies are called snapshots. As you can see, these are snapshots that that the rounded thing is the snapshot over there. The benefit of that is that. Uh, like management performance of them has drastically simplified with open EBS. The way it works is that basically the operation architects as the pipeline owners integrate open, OB, open EBS snapshots and restore capability into to CICD pipelines. So it's dynamically updated. Data is made available to developers. Like it is totally available for development. And what it basically does is the CICD pipeline is um, done by the operation architect and it acts as the pipeline owner. So thank you to the integration of Kubernetes with snapshot commands, the ability to take the snapshots can be exposed to developers in a very simple way. As an example, developers can take snapshots of live data, modify it as a part of the development and test, and then with one command delete any extraneous snapshot that they took and they can, after that, they can upload that to the GitHub repository and work with it. So now a few reasons why people love to use open EBS as compared to other solutions. The thing with open EBS is it is consistent, consistent across all Kubernetes distributions. 
whether it be on premise or cloud is totally consistent another next reason is open ebs like drastically improves the productivity of uh, developers and platform sres it is much more simpler than other similar solutions for this use case and it has an excellent community support that open ebs has and lastly but not uh, but a very important thing about open ebs is open source and free to use so this is one of the great benefits of open ebs so if you want to get started with open ebs go to the docs that they that's a that's a really great resource to look into to open ebs that's a doc about open ebs or io and if you also can want to go into more depth of that you can go and join the slack uh, with the slack channel there so thank you everyone that's my twitter handle and my linkedin if you want to connect you can do it so in there in there and uh, that's pretty much all about EV, open ebs and the persistent storage of um, kubernetes in kubernetes so that's what it is always so thank you bye